tell me if this doesn't sound familiar. At five foot two, I have made many, many a fashion blooper, especially when I was younger and wore what I thought was hip and cool and in versus what looked good on my frame. Consequently, every time I went to wear it, I'd look in the mirror and think something doesn't look right. No more. I now know that as a petite, we have to be more selective with what we wear. Today, I've got 13 fashion mistakes that most petite women make, myself included, and what to choose and wear instead. Because we're about solutions on this channel. It's identifying an issue, then presenting a solution, right? It's all about growing and getting better and being the best person that we absolutely can. So without further ado, let's get started. Not having a good tailor on speed dial. If there's one point that I would love for you to take away from this video, it is the importance of a good tailor. Clothes are really just a template that need to be customized specifically to our bodies. Human beings are different. So even two people that are the same size are going to have parts of their body that differ and that need little tweaking here and there. This is especially true with petites because having perfectly tailored clothing is going to give you that longer, leaner, vertical line that we all want. A perfectly tailored garment is going to look not only more expensive, but it's going to make you look effortlessly chic and stylish without really knowing why. You'll just look good. As always, the links for most all of the clothing featured in this video are underneath the video in the video description. Big prints. Okay, aside from looking a little too golden girls, big prints tend to be very overwhelming on a petite frame and can make us look a lot shorter than what we are. If you like prints, go for smaller, more delicate choices. Those are going to be more in alignment with your petite frame and it's going to look more flattering and more to scale with your overall physique. Wearing chunky sweaters, <laughs> especially if you're busty like me, chunky sweaters can really make you look a lot heavier than what you are. Case in point, I know that on one of my past videos, I wore a light blue sweater that was very chunky, honestly, because I liked the color, even though I knew it probably wasn't as flattering on me. At 103 pounds, I know that I looked really chunky, and here's why. The neck came up too high, it was a thick, chunky sweater, and I'm busty. Instead, choose a light weight knit, at the very most a mid-weight knit, like this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cashmere sweater from Anthropology Petites. Caveat, these are general rules and guidelines. What I do with any rule that I hear, I put the garment on, I step back and I think, does this look good? Here's the thing, we do intrinsically know if something looks good on us. If you're looking in the mirror going, I don't know why, but I don't like it, that means it probably doesn't work for your body. So I want you to have that same takeaway. If you put something on, step back, and go, no, it actually looks good, then you should wear it. Another mistake that a lot of petites make is avoiding midi skirts and dresses. Hold up before you say, yeah, but everybody says that it's a bad length. Okay, yes, I do agree. As a general rule, a midi length on a petite is not a good length. It hits at a really bad, awkward place on your calf. But if you do it correctly, it can look really good. And here's how. Pairing a knee length boot with a midi skirt or dress looks amazing on a petite. The key is also keeping your boot in the same color or tonal family as your skirt. Here on the side, you'll see this gorgeous suede petite skirt from Ann Taylor with the same tonal color boot. This would look amazing. What you don't want is a midi skirt with just a regular shoe, God forbid, a flat. Okay, y'all, time for shout outs. I wanna give a quick shout out to my girl, Susie Beltran, Susie Watts, and Mystic Celine. Thank you ladies for being a part of the community. I love having you here. And if you'd like a shout out, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have brand new videos every Tuesday and Friday on all things wellness, style, and beauty for women 40 and over. Mid-calf boots. <laughs> so awkward and so unflattering. To me, these boots always look like they couldn't decide, am I a knee boot or am I an ankle boot? I don't know, let's just go halfway. Instead, go for an ankle boot to give you more length. The most flattering, in my opinion, are the ankle boots with a low vamp. I call them shooties, but they're also booties with a low vamp. Because the vamp is low, it gives your leg more of a lengthening visual appeal, but also the color matters. So look at the two 
boots that I have here. The ankle boot in black and a shooty in black. Okay, both look better than the mid calf. The shooty looks better than the ankle boot. Now look when I put a nude shooty against the black shooty. Which one makes my leg look longer? Now, can you wear the black in this style? Yes, of course you can. And it'll still look good. But as a general rule, especially if I'm wearing a skirt or a dress and I kind of want to make it look a little more edgy, I choose the nude shooty. I think it looks more lengthening and longer. Okay, I included knee-high boots as something to consider avoiding because a lot of stylists will steer you away from a knee-high boot if you're a petite. This is one area where I disagree to a degree. Because our legs tend to be shorter, a regular size knee-high boot is going to take up the vast majority of our leg. Even if you're wearing a shorter dress or skirt, you're gonna get about this much leg in between the termination of the knee boot and the termination of your hem, and it breaks up the line. But instead, I like to go for keeping my dress or skirt and the boot in the same color, and I'll put a pair of tights underneath to kind of give it that lengthening line. So if I'm wearing a black skirt, I like putting a sheer black tight or a thicker black tight, depending on the weather, that allows the line to continue and make it look visually more lengthening. When skinny jeans were in, I always kept my boot the same color or in the same hue family as the pant I was wearing. Keeping that long vertical line. Wearing capri pants or Bermuda shorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, capri pants. Oh my gosh. Not only unflattering, I just think that they are ridiculously aging. I don't care who you are or how tall you are. Um, capri pants, Bermuda shorts, they hit at the wrong part of our leg and they're just really unflattering. I'm showing you these on the side. I ordered them off of Amazon because I do not have these in my closet. It makes us look shorter and stumpier. No bueno. On petite, you want to wear a shorter short. Now, how short depends on what you feel comfortable. For me personally, I wear anywhere from a two and a half inch inseam to a three and a half inch inseam, which is what I'm wearing over here. You can certainly, if this is too short for you, absolutely go more of a mid thigh length. I'm showing you these on the side. I love these. They're chic, they're comfortable, they define your waist, but they're relaxed, they're flowy, and they hit about mid thigh, which I think still looks super chic. You just want to avoid that awkward capri length or those damn Bermuda shorts that come like to the top of the, your knee. Honestly, you guys, I just feel like they're really aging. Another mistake petites should avoid is color blocking. I know that a lot of people love color blocking. I don't particularly care for it. Having big bouts of color all over your body gives the illusion of looking shorter and stumpier because the eye isn't quite sure where to go. And remember, we're looking for that long seamless vertical look, not patches all over your body. Instead, monochromatic color is going to be your BF. F. That doesn't mean that it has to be the exact same color. It means colors within the same tonal family. So if I'm wearing an ivory top, I don't necessarily have to wear ivory bottoms. I can wear a lighter tan or a camel or a caramel, something within those ranges. Those are all the same tonal hues. That's going to give you a much longer, leaner visual look. Wearing super, super baggy clothing, and I know you guys probably already know this, wearing oversized baggy clothing makes us look short and stumpy. Now, can you take part in that sort of a trend and still look cool? Yes. For me, I do at times like that kind of slouchy look, but here's what I do to mitigate uh, my shortness. First, I always add a heel because that gives me more length. Second, I always tuck in a portion of the sweater into my pants because it gives me a little bit of definition. It shows that I have a shape. And again, that extra length gives me more of a visual line. Third, and most importantly, I make sure that any Anything more relaxed and baggy is baggy to scale. In other words, it doesn't look like I went into my husband's closet and just put on some baggy clothes. The bagginess, the relaxed is to scale with my body. A lot of times that means, again, I've got my tailor on the phone. She takes it in so it still has the same look and feel as the style, but it is fitted to my physique. Wearing an oversized bag. You can see with this Balmain tote, it's too big for my frame. Now I did buy it. I really liked it and it was summer. Uh, a lot a lot of times I would take it to the pool, but as a general rule, you want to stay away from big oversized bags because it is not to scale with your physique. We don't want to look like we're six years old carrying our mom's bag. Instead, choose a medium size or a small size bag. This is a Christian Louboutin Paloma. It's a medium size satchel and look how much more to scale it looks for my body. And it still looks like a large tote, but because I'm small, it fits my body. 
Heels are shoes with ankle straps. Love, love, love camp wear. Those sexy heels are shoes with a sexy little ankle strap. Unfortunately, ladies, they just cut us off at the wrong part of our leg and it makes us look shorter and stumpier. If like me, you still love that sexy ankle strap, try a nude shoe with the barely there thin nude strap around the ankle like I'm doing here on the side. That way you still get the look and the feel, but it's not breaking the visual line of your leg. Look at the difference between these loop Bouton black heels with an ankle strap. The nude looks makes my leg look longer. The black cuts me off. Wearing horizontal stripes. Horizontal stripes typically give the illusion of being wider and being shorter. Well, vertical stripes, of course, are more elongating. Again, it's the vertical line. So the latter is usually the go-to for petites. I also feel that vertical stripes look a lot more sophisticated and classy. Think pinstripe suit. To me, the horizontal stripes always look like, you know, a hoy sailor, just kind of eh wearing super wide belts. So this season, fall 2022, the super wide belts that cinch in your waist are super, super in, and I love that look. However, as petites, because our torso is much shorter, the wide belts are going to hit us right under the boobs, at the hip bone, and it's going to be one, really uncomfortable, and two, it isn't going to be as flattering. I have been buying, and I love these leather obi belts. They're very customizable. You're not limited by what size they happen to have, and it's more to scale with our body. So this one is just shy of four inches. It's about three inches and seven eighths. It looks like we're partaking in the wide belt trend, but it's much more comfortable and it's much more to scale with our body. The second thing that I like to do, I generally make sure that the belt isn't super contrasting to what I'm wearing. So if I'm wearing all ivory, I'm not wearing a black belt. It cuts off your body and you want a long vertical line. So you want the color of your belt in the same color or the same tonal hue as what you're wearing to give you that long lengthening look. Okay, ladies, those are my 13 styling tips for petites. As always, I love hearing from you. And until a couple days from now, I'll see you later. Bye. Tonight I'm gonna feel like no one won't be at your night. So baby, go and start a fight.